the fabric snug down in place, I'll start truing up the pattern along the front edge. I'll pull that down and line up each one on this third dot down in the pattern there. Making these stitches along here is rather time consuming, but it's excellent for pulling this seam down evenly. I'll start around two inches over from the previous stitch, and I'll direct the needle straight through right at that sewn stitch line. I'll pull the thread all the way through and tug back on this cord, line up my string, I'm going to shoot that needle back straight in at that point and hook up about an inch of material. As I'm pushing the needle in, I'm making sure that I go deep into the materials underneath. I'm going to pull this back, try to direct that out about an inch, inch and a half above, uh, past that stitch line. I'll pull this, this stitch tight. and square up on the back side of the cord for my return. I'll pull that back snug and press it into the edge there. Pull this back and I'm going to put the needle into the sewn stitch line and bring it out to the underside. Pull this tight. I'm going to slip my regulator in here. We'll go around the string a couple times. if you can hear it, but it's a very windy day and I have a window that's whistling as I speak. I folded in a double layer of cotton, basically two layers, and I'll pull this all down across the front. Look out, Bucky's got another cardboard strip. I'll keep that cotton up above the frame and I'm going to push this down against the uh, top of the exposed wood. And I'll use it as a measuring guide. Pull the cloth down till the cording matches up. With the front edge stitched in place, I've stretched a drawstring between the arms and I'll use it to true up this pattern. I'll tell you, this project has been one long haul. Just like the seat, I laid over a layer of cotton, pulled it down with cover cloth, applied the gimp, and I'm ready to put a wrap on this. 
Thanks for tuning in.